Hello everyone, this is Coach Gene of Drafting Lifestyle and nandito na naman tayo for another tutorial. It's been quite a while since we posted our last video. If I remember, it was two weeks ago that we post something, a tutorial para sa ating mga students. Today's tutorial or today's vlog or lesson, we'll be talking about drafting floor plan. What is a floor plan? Floor plan is the most important or one of the most important working drawing sa lahat ng working drawing because it serves as the basis of the entire plan or the entire blueprint. If you still remember, last video na pinost natin, it was drafting site development plan that could measure okay, a drawing that is a pre-requirement for drafting a floor plan that could measure the size ng floor area na pwede natin gamitin sa isang lote. Today's tutorial or today's video will be focusing more on the spaces and dimension or simply to say, to drop a simple floor plan. But ano nga ba talaga ang floor plan? As you can see on the screen, ito ay isang sample ng isang detailed floor plan. It says here, Floor plan is a top cross-sectional view of the floor area of the house. The horizontal cutting plane line for this top view passes between the upper and lower window sills or 1 meter above the floor line. It shows the size arrangements of each room. It also gives you the idea the what we call the the placement and position of each features sa isang structure. This floor plan will give you an idea the flow ng mga occupants sa loob ng isang bahay kung ano ang flow ng structure. Remember that we have to consider so many things when we are going to draft floor plan. And one of those are the different dimensions and shapes. Okay? So, here, I'm going to show you a few things that you have to remember before drafting floor plan. It says under the National Building Code of the Philippines, okay, National Building Code of the Philippines that you have at least you have to remember at least six square meters for every habitable room, which means it talks about two by three meters in dimension. It talks about the width and the depth. So every habitable room. This includes living room, dining area, bedroom including kitchen na kailangan na mandatory. So, before you proceed in actual drafting the floor plan, you have to remember these few things para mas smooth flow ang ating pag-draft ng ating floor plan. So, if you're ready, ako din, ready na. So, let's get started. Nandito na naman tayo sa ating AutoCAD workspace. Okay? So, as you can see, I already prepared a simple borderline that we use to create sa ating work. So, this on how to create this borderline, nasa tutorial natin to. Okay? So, dito natin ilalagay ang ating floor plan. So, the floor plan that we're going to have here is the most simplest base or what we call the one of the most basic floor plan na ginagawa namin sa mga high school students. Okay? So, the size of the floor plan that we are going to have is 6 by 7 meters. Okay? 6 times 7, that is considered to be um, 42 square meters for the floor area. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang natin is, um, the first thing that I'm going to do in our drafting the floor plan is I'm going to set my layer or my default line into center line. Okay? So, pag nandito na ang center line natin, we can start already drafting the floor plan by creating lines. Okay? Pressing lines. Then, I'm going to drop somewhere here. Okay? Make sure na on ang F8 or ortho natin. Click. One horizontal and then one automatic vertical. Okay? So, just make sure na naka-center ang drawing natin pero isa-center pa naman natin siya mamaya so that we could only target kung masaan mas proportion. Remember, everything should be balanced and proportion sa ating work. Okay. So, ang gagawin ko naman ngayon is to create the offset for 6 meters for the width and then the depth 
is at 7. Okay. Once nandito na, we are going to what we call divide the areas na meron tayo sa isang floor plan. Okay? We're going to divide the pictures and spaces sa isang floor plan. So, here, I'm going to offset 3. Okay? And then, offset here, um, 4. Okay? And then, I'm going to offset here, 1.5. And then, I'm going to offset 2 for the bot side of this. Now, after which here, once na tayo, tapos na tayo dito, trim yung mga spaces na kailangan natin. So that make our work, it would make our work much more easier to understand. So, kailangan kong i-trim ang mga ibang lines so that I can already identify kung saan-saan mga features na meron tayo dito. So, if you're going to look at this, we have here, porch, living room, dining and kitchen, bedroom, and what we call the toilet and bathroom. Okay. So, once we already have this, I'm going to set again my layer into wall. Okay. Wall. And then, this time, remember, when we are going to drop the floor plan, we are going to use multiple commands sa ating output. So, what you have to do, the next thing is, sometimes, mga dropsman, they prefer to have offset both sides to create the thickness of the wall. Pero mas madali sa amin is when you're going to type multi-line, ML, enter, press S, for the scale, enter, type 0.15. Now, there are times that line tick, the wall thickness is at 0.20. So, meron naman, standard, 0.15, pwede din siya. So, either na lang you can choose which thickness of line that you like to use in your floor area. So, para sa akin, 0.15 is already enough. And then, I'm going to press enter. And then, I'm going to type J for justification. And then, I'm going to click 0. So, once we already have set our multi-line, we can already start creating multi-lines around our walls for the walls that we are going to have sa bahay. So, I'm going to start sa top, going dito, bababa, going sa porch, okay? Then, encircling going uh, living room, and then press C to close the area. Okay, so, uh, close na siya. Now, to complete the setup here, I'm going to create wall for our bedroom and then click click here for our toilet and bathroom so then we'll check the size of each one if i have to adjust okay 1.5 lang siya so i wanted my my toilet and bathroom to be 2 okay so i'm going to adjust this one Remember, when you're drafting your floor plan, hindi naman mandatory talaga kailangan tama na kaagad lahat. So, if nagkamali kayo, itong kagandahan sa AutoCAD na sinabi ko last time, kapag nagkamali tayo, we could just easily edit it right away because madaling gamitin ang ating software. Okay? So, madali din siya makapag-edit dito. So, here, I'm going to remove my unnecessary lines so that because I committed a mistake, sa pag-draft, kaya kapag nag-autocad tayo, no, make sure that we have to check from time to time the distance and spaces ng bawat floor areas natin. Bawat features. So, ML po rito tayo. And then, click on the walls for the partition of the bedroom. So, remember also, for young learners, there are there is a difference between the size of a common bedroom and a master's bedroom. Master's bedroom, if you're going to ask me, by definition, a master's bedroom is what we call, uh, by definition, the one who stays inside or the ones who occupy the master's bedroom are the people or what we call the owner of the structure. Okay? So, they also have different features kapag sa isang master's bedroom. So, sa isang master's bedroom, sometimes meron siyang mini office, mini bar, meron naman minsan mini... Um, wardrobe mas ma, kapag ganun so depende kung anong feature ang gusto ng isang kliyente kapag nagpagawa sa inyo ng bahay but for young learners um, we are going to have only a simple and basic one so once nandito na I'm going to line here create a line to represent this area as the porch okay and then 
trim the unnecessary lines. So trimming before you could um, trim on multiple lines. Before I'm going to uh, trim multiple lines, I'm going to explode first because okay, hindi may explode ang ating drawing or ang ating lines if okay, for example, ganon, no? So hindi siya may ma mati trim kapag hindi natin na explode ang ating mga lines. So I'm going to explode first the drawing and then trim the unnecessary lines. Now if you'll ask me sir, coach, bakit kailangan i-trim ang mga lines na ito? So practice namin talaga is to create a drawing that is neat and clean. Okay? So we prepare yung bawat edges na nakatrim so that it would be nice to see, neat, and then once pag-submit, automatic, mas mataas ang grado. Okay? So here, we already have set the porch, living, dining and kitchen, toilet and bathroom, and then we have the bedroom. Now, here I'm going to make a representation sa ating lavatory. Okay, so offset tayo ng 0.6 galing sa wall line. And then I'm going to offset here 2 meters ang distance or the, the what do you call it, the width of the lavatory. And then I'm going to layer it right away with a lavatory. So I'm going to match everything here to wall para madali ang ating trabaho. Okay, after here, we are going to have, or what we call place, um, co uh, column, each sa mga structure. So remember, nasa wall, wall layer pa rin tayo. So I'm going to type 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.2 for the column. Okay, ito ang mga poste ng bahay. So there are times, hindi palagi rectangular ang shape ng isang poste. There are times, ang poste naka L-type, meron naman pag intersection, it's t Okay? Maraming klaseng uh, style na pwedeng gamitin. That's why kapag nakita nyo, Sir, bakit minsan palang post na nakikita? Because the nosing, nosing ang tawag namin sa excess na yun, that the, are not exposed. So therefore, those are what we call na post na may sumasama sa, sa size ng wallings. Pero dito, what we're going to do is we are basic, we have basic column, which is a uh, perfect square. 0.20 by 0.20 in layman's term this is 8 inches by 8 inches so I'm going to hatch this one by solid to represent a solid column okay and then I'm going to copy this one on several areas dito since our column will be not be will not be exposed so I'm going to copy them in a position like this so ibig sabihin makikita lang natin ang column sa loob ng bahay okay so, here, sa labas, hindi siya nakikita. So, I'm going to copy it on several areas. Copy. Okay, CO. Of course, alam natin yan kasi sa previous tutorial natin, nandun na ito. So, I'm going to copy it here. And then, copy the remaining. Okay, dito na sa kabila. And then, place it here. So, we already placed our columns in their strategic, strategic position. So, mamaya ilalagyan pa natin siya ng grid lines. Okay? So, isa-isahin natin. So, dahan-dahan na natin i-trim din kaagad ang mga excess lines na meron tayo. Okay? So, kasi para mas madali ang ating trabaho. Remember, when you are having, um, consuming too much time also, hindi ko naman sinasabi na kailangan sobrang bilis nyo sa card. Remember, accuracy um, in work, okay, is much more important than speed. Kasi useless ang speed niya natin kapag hindi naman tama ang trabaho natin. Okay, so, I'm going, this time, I'm going to have an offset of 1.2 for our roof line. So, I'm going to create a uh, roof line here, 1.2, galing sa center ng wall and then I'm going to trim the edges para sa ating roof line okay so here and then I'm going to change right away yung layer natin para sa ating bubong so I'm going to highlight this one and then change it into roof line of course how to have a roof line nandoon na po to sa ating tutorial kung paano gumawa ng layer okay so ngayon we already have placed the Roof line and then the position of each part ng spaces and features sa isang floor plan. Ngayon, we have the next part that we are going to have would be the placement and position of each window. So, I'm going to change my layer here. And then, I'm going to choose the normal layer, 0, so that I could work 
mas klaro para sa akin. Pero kung gusto niyo pa rin center line, you can do so with uh, uh, you can do so with your own preference. Okay? So here, I'm going to find the center part of the window. Okay, ngayon. For clarification, when you're going to have um windows like this, hindi na palo palagi kailangan nasa center ang window. Okay. Karamihan kasi may nagtanong sa akin, sir, kailangan ba talaga sa center palagi ang window? No. Not time to time ang window ay kailangan nasa center. There are times in a modern, there are times also, also this would, would be sided with modern architecture, that windows can must be placed kung saan ang orientation or kung saan mas pre-flow ang hangin. Also, Position of windows must not be harsh towards the sun, lalo na kapag sunset. Kasi kapag nandun ang bintana sa may sunset, mas matindi ang araw, lalo, lalo na ngayon, mainit ang panahon, mas mainit ang kwarto. So remember, strategically, you have to place the windows kung saan mas free flow ang hangin and then, minsan, no, kung saan or most of the time, kung saan hindi masyado tumatama ang araw para hindi intense ang init sa loob ng isang structure. Okay? So, karamihan ganun turo sa amin. Okay, so now I'm going to have a standard window of 1.2 by 1.2 meters. So, if you are going to divide it, it would be 0.6. So, I have only common style of window. Okay, 0.6 by 0.6. Okay, the standard, if you're going to have it, 1.2, 4 feet by 4 feet. So, dito naman, I'm going to have a single panel here, 0.60. So, going to divide it by 0.3 to create a window of 0.6. So, para sa ating toilet and bathroom and then for our lavatory um, bintana. Okay, so I'm going to trim the excess. How to trim? TR double space bar. Okay. TR double space bar para mas mapadali ang ating trabaho. Okay. So, trim nyo lang yung bawat excess or edges na hindi kailangan sa inyong drawing. Okay. So, here. I'm going to remove this. Remove this. Okay. I'm going to remove that all the unnecessary lines that are not important in my work. So, ito, tanggalit ko na ito. Ngayon, proceeding here sa ating options, no, sa ating work, I'm going to have a window with a basic window. Okay? But before we proceed, I'm going to match first lahat ng mga walls na to para gawing solid or what you call layered kaagad ang ating mga edges sa mga window. Why do I have to layer this right away? For our work to be much more faster. Pero kung gusto nyo din naman, Lahat muna, drawing lang muna, bago mag-layer, pwede rin naman siya ganun. Okay? Depende na lang kung paano, ang, ano ang mas prefer ninyo. Okay. So, I'm going to have a, sem, a symbol of a basic window. So, I'm going to have a rec, 0.6, time, tab, 0.2. Okay. And then, I'm going to copy this one, right here. And then, one spare copy sa taas para sa ating window sa toilet and bathroom and sa lavatory. So, I'm going to have this as the first window. Maraming window symbols na meron tayo available. You can also download sa internet. Pero since we are going to draft it in the most basic way, so this is the one method that you could do. So, I'm going to layer this one into windows. Okay. So, doors and windows. So, I'm going to turn this into blocks. Typing B, enter, and then say for example, window 1. Okay. So, then, okay. So, dito, meron akong window 1 right away. So, let me change this. Say, for example, window 1, um, basic. Okay, so, this is a one, window 1 basic. I'm going to copy this one on the several places kung saan siya dapat nakalagay. Dito, isa, sa my master's bed, sa my bedroom. And then, sa meron tayong isa, isa bawat isa sa ating living room and sa ating kitchen and dining. So, meron tayong isa doon. So, I'm going to edit this one here para malinis ang drawing. And then, since I already have this copy, so I'm going to erase this. And then, this one sa ating toilet and bathroom and lavatory. Okay. I'm going to layer it right away and then copy this one. Now, I'm going to turn this into block. Say, for example, window 2. 
basic and then okay so i'm going to copy this one again para sa ating toilet and bathroom and then one sa kitchen lavatory okay now we already placed the positions strategically okay sa ating for example lang naman eh. okay example sa ating mga position ng bintana now we have to place the doors this time so coming here standard procedure namin palagi is to have point two and then type the door entrance at least one meter so commonly standard doors rest at least for every entrance must have at least one meter in depth or what we call in in width for the entrance so commonly ito talaga ang size na ginagamit sa mga bahay one meter is the most ideal measurement that we have for doors sa mga entrance sa mga exit we could also have at least 0.9 so offset muna tayo ng 0.2 and then offset tayo ng 0.9 for the door what we call width here and then trim the excess lines okay and then here sa ating toilet and bathroom offset tayo ng 0.2 and then we have here offset na naman tayo ng 0.7 so I still remember way back before marami nag-aaway tungkol sa size ng pintuan sa CR now 0.70 is what I have chosen because this is the what we call the standard size that we have here in the market. So, 0.7 ang ginamit ko um, because of the availability of material is at 0.7. So, realistically, because this is a uh, detailed drawing, so 0.7 ang ginamit ko. So, hindi na kaya natin kailangan mag-away gaya ng engineer at saka ng architect. Nag-away pa talaga sila dahil sa size ng pintuan. Okay, so now here, we have 0.7 distance. If you want to, you have 0.8. As your door sa inyong toilet and bathroom, you can you may do so. Okay? So here, I'm layered already the line for the toilet and bathroom. Now, moving here sa ating bedroom, point two pa rin. And then, the distance of the door. So, sa toilet, sa common bedrooms, sa structure, point eighty is the most ideal size of width that we are using. So, trim lang natin all the excess lines and then right away, imamatch na natin siya para sa ating work. So, match okay para mas mapadali ang ating mga trabaho. Okay? Now, once we already have it here, we are going to have to place the doors that we are going to have with our work. So, we are going to place the doors this time for our different positions sa mga pintuan. So, the symbol of doors you, you are going to use, again, would be the most basic. Okay. So, I'm going to type here rectangular command and then I'm going to type the value of 0 0.05 top 1. Okay. Now, if ganitong sitwasyon, just rotate the drawing like this. So, RO lang po ang kailangan pindutin. Then, we are going to move the object here sa edge. And then, this time, we are going to have a circle command. So, circle ang ginagamit ko palagi because nasanay na talaga ako. But most of the experts that I have known, friends, na architect, draftsman, they are using arc. Okay? Pwede rin naman po siya ganun. Pero sa akin lang talaga, nasanay talaga ako, I used circle ever since nag-start ako ng AutoCAD. So, circle ang ginagamit ko because nasanay na talaga ako sa circle. But if you want to use art, pwedeng pwede din siya. Okay? So, symbol of door that we have here in a most basic swing type style of door. Okay? So, ito po ang symbol niya. So, there are so many doors that we have that we have that you could use also with your work. So, meron tayong mga flash door. Meron din na tayong uh, tinatawag na accordion door meron tayong sliding door if we have sliding window we have also sliding door we have packet door there are so many doors that you can use in your work okay depende na lang kung paano nyo gamitin pero dito sa atin since we are learning the basic we are going to have it here simple as like this okay so let's proceed with door 2 rec 0 0.05 and then the distance again, if you remember, it is 0.9. And then move the drawing here. 
the corner and then command circle if you want art pwede rin ha okay trim the excess and then remove all the unnecessary lines okay then layer it right away with a windows and doors that you have in your AutoCAD okay so this time dito naman sa toilet and bathroom rec 0.7 kasi 0.7 ang distance na ginamit natin and then 0.05 and then enter okay move the rectangular object on the corner and then press C okay click and then trim okay and then remove all the unnecessary lines that we had, don't need with our to, in our work okay so for the last door rectangular command again 0 0.05 tab 0.8 okay pag ganito just rotate the drawing okay like this and then move by pressing M going sa corner natin sa corner ng saan nakalagay ang pintuan so circle again here and then trim the excess lines that we have in our work so trim lang and then if possible you have to layer it right away so that mas mapadali ang ating mga trabaho okay now here i'm going to create a solid line because this will give a representation for our wall sa ating tinatawag na floor area and sa ground okay so that's why we have to place a solid line some they're using solid line somewhere here pero kami na na because we are following center to center sa gitna okay so i'm going just to place line bawat pintuan now for toilet and bathroom there must be really uh, what we call gap between the floor area main floor area and then the toilet and bathroom area so commonly talaga sinasabi namin to sa mga sosyante namin so you have to place a gap for what we call sa toilet and bathroom and sa main bathroom so simply for the main reason so that the water will not spill out going through the main floor area remember water is a very good source or conductor of electricity then therefore if it touches anything that is using electricity that could create havoc or what we call chaos sa isang structure so iniiwasan natin yun siya okay so kailangan nakakontain ang prosiang flow ng water sa isang structure okay now this time for to finalize our work sa mga pintuan we have to i am go, just going to have line here and then change the layer right away into wall and then we already have set our drawing so this time i'm going to place some basic objects sa ating work so unahin natin sa toilet and bathroom so what i'm going to do is by pressing design center enter sa inyong work it would look like this okay so all you have to do is to click in us and then design center and then here once you reach here you would see so many blocks those are basic blocks or basic drawing objects na meron kayo sa inyong AutoCAD okay so basic lang you could also download sa internet mas maraming design okay you could use so many designs sa internet okay what you are going to do here is by pressing for example dito sa kitchen I'm going to use kit click kitchen and then blocks and then I'm going to use the range okay um, single okay for the, our sink for example refrigerator pwede din okay then back here we are going to have sa house designer again blocks so para sa ating kubeta okay and then if you want lavatory sa, sa, sa loob ng CR pwede din siya okay so then back um, what else do we need um, there are so many designs that you have you can have here pero if you want more, mas marami sa internet, okay? So, blocks, you could also have um, dining table, entertainment area, for example, itong entertainment area, so here, okay? And then, so on and so forth. So, I will not add everything here, okay? So, and then, I'm going to layer this right away with my thin lines here, where I'm usually, I usually call this as fine lines. So, and then, place the objects right away sa ating drawing space. Okay, so move here. Then, this one, if you want to place it somewhere here, kayo na bahala kung saan yung gusto ilagay siya. Okay, remember, to make things as much possible, presentable ang output natin. So, sa dito naman sa range, 
I'm going to place this here sa ating kusina. And then if you want, you also have this entertainment area to create partition sa loob ng structure. I'm going to place it here. Okay. Para may partition between dining and um, living room. Okay. Now, for the last two years, we have lavatory, the sink. Place it here. Okay, if you want it here, pwede. And then, for the last one, eto, i-rotate ko na lang. Okay. F8, then move the drawing. And then, I'm going to place it somewhere here. Okay, so, we already have sets of drawing objects in our floor area. Okay, now, this time, I'm going to place text for the description of the floor area by placing the text here. For example, typing text, enter, and then I'm going to type here, living area. Okay, o kahit living lang, pwede na rin. Okay. And then, I'm going to layer it as text, move, center the, the text object, and then I'm going to copy this one on several positions. So here, ito naman, and then isa dito. So, dito na lang muna. So, ito, I'm going to type this as TNB, Toilet and Bathroom. So, nasanay na kami sa TNB. Okay, click, move the object here. Then, this one, I'm going to type this as Dining Area. Okay. Or pwede rin naman, Dining slash Kitchen, pwede rin siya. So, this one here, I'm going to type as Bedroom. Okay, if you want to place it master bedroom, be my guest. Pwede. Remember, there is a the, the description is mas malaki po ang master's bedroom compared sa mga common bedroom. Okay, so if mas may mas malaki pa sa floor area ninyo na isang bedroom, you have to name it as inyong master's bedroom. And then this one I'm going to copy for the last portion sa bahay, we have porch. Okay, porch serves as a waiting area, um of area where you could also socialize. Okay, so you have to remember the function of each room. Okay, I still remember the instruction of Professor Ko that every area must be usable. Walang dead area. Okay, every area has functions. Kaya sabi niya. Okay, so now I'm going to place also text sa bawat bintana at pintuan. So I'm going to type C, K, circle, then point two, ang distance, and then I'm going to type text. And then the size is at least, siguro, you could have, I could have 0.15. And then I'm going to type here, door 1. Then, click outside. Then, layer this right away with text. Okay, move the object or the text here inside the circle. And then I'm going to layer this right away with text also. So, I'm going to copy this one on several doors. Pero i-edit pa natin ito siya kasi isang door 1 lang naman. So, door 1. Dito, door 2. Door 3. And door 4. So, I'm going to edit this one. Door 2. Door 3. I'm sorry, this is door 4. Door 3. And then, this time, windows naman. <coughs> now, excuse me. So, this time, we are going to have window 1 because we only have two types of windows. Okay, remember... If iba ang size ng window pero same symbol, you have to rename it as a different window. If it's possible, window 2, window 3 ba? Kasi we have to make them as much as possible, mas detailed, mas maganda. Okay, so window 1, copy ko na lang. Okay, here, window 1. And then, place it somewhere para mas madaling tingnan. Okay, dito. And then this to, this is window 2. And then window 3. So here, window 2. And then window 3. Okay. So we already have placed them in the most strategic position. Now, trim the excess here. Kapag hindi kailangan. Okay. Ito naman, iti trim ko rin to. Okay. Kasi mama yay extend natito siya dito. So move the object towards the center so that we could already start placing dimensions later. So, now, let me concentrate somewhere dito sa toilet and bathroom. As part of the representation, usually, of the vision way, we have to indicate the tiles 
for the toilet and bathroom as a symbol. So, hatching is the best technique here. So, press hatch, enter. And then, I'm going to choose um, net. Net. And then, click the area. Okay, now, I'm going to increase the size of the, taxi, uh, the, the scale here of the net by, by 3. Okay, mas malaki. Or if you want, 2 lang. Pwede. And then, press enter. Okay, now, automatic, ilalayer ko kagad siya. My most thinnest line. Remember, in the alphabet of lines, okay, section areas, okay. So, dapat they are made of thin lines. So, I'm going to use thin lines sa ating representation sa toilet and bathroom tiles. Now, same procedure will be applied sa lavatory. Hatch, and then, net pa rin. Click the area, okay. And then, I'm going to lower the scale by 1. Okay, if you want 1.5, put it in. And then if you're okay satisfied with this, enter. And then change the layer right away with what we call um, section. Okay, so if you want to have layer for tiles only, put it in. Okay, para sa akin, kasi they have the same thin lines. So, automatic, yun na pipiliin ko. Now, if you want also to have hatch for... If you want also to have hatch for... Um, porch, pwede din siya, hatch, enter. Depende kung gusto ninyo, ha. I'm going to use this one, net 3. Okay. And I'm choosing 3. Okay. Pwede din siya as represented as this way. Okay. Pwede din siya. So, enter lang. Okay. And then, layer it right away with section. Okay. So, as represented as porch area. Now, if you want net, just click this one, choose net, and then change it 45 degree sa hatching natin pwede din siya okay depende kung ano ang mas preferred natin okay now since we already have placed the most important part sa ating floor plan this time we have to place the dimensions but before we have to place the dimensions we have to position first our grid line so this line here as represented as a grid line I'm going to Extend this a little one, uh, a little upward. So, see, for example, 1.5 or 1.2. Enter. And then, here, I'm going to place circle by size of 0.3. Okay. So, I'm going to move this here. And then, change this layer as text. And then, placing here. Text again. Okay, M text or text, pwede. Okay, I'm going to type here A. Remember... For horizontal grid lines, commonly we place this as letters. So, A. So, I'm going to increase the size by 0.3. And then, layer it right away with text. Move the object. Okay. Move the object here right away for our text marking. So, what all I, all I have to do is to remove this or to copy these lines para sa bawat area. Okay. So, here going to mark this and then extend all the remainings okay and then erase copy this figure for our grid line so ano bang purpose ng grid line grid line is very important especially in identifying or position to identify the position of each column footing and column nagagamit talaga to kaagad kapag nasa foundation plan na tayo so for example this is A, this is the column for A, this is the column for B, and this is the column for C. Now, vertically here, we are going to place here as the, what we call the number figure or number grid. Okay, so here, I'm going to copy this one. Copy sa lahat ng mga lines natin dito. And then, I'm going to have it as number figure 1. Okay, pag hindi sentro, just move it so that always remember it must be centered. Okay, this is 2. Sorry, this is 2. Move this one here. Okay, and then we have here 3. Okay, move the drawing. Okay, so automatic here, once we are done, or to explain this more, no? If this is if nasa foundation plan ng engineer, 
they could already identify right away kung saan ang position ng B3. So, ibig sabihin, the column of B and the row of C of 3 is nandito. So, B3 is placed somewhere here. So, madali nilang kaagad ma-identify yung position ng ating mga poste. Okay? So, we are almost done with our work. All we have to do now is to place dimensions. So, of course, placing dimensions is automatic when you press DLI, enter. So, position your mouse. Okay, dito. Going here. So, here we have the just layer it dimension. Okay, now, some, they're automatically typing DCO para automatic na lang naka-dimension siya. No? Layer this one, and then, dimension. So, as a practice, kapag mag sa mga floor plan, we have to place the overall dimension of the drawing. So, highlight this one, and then, also, you are going to layer this as dimensions. Okay, so, we're almost done. Konting, konting na lang, we're almost done. Okay, then, for, we are going to do the same sa side na to, even this side, including the front area. So, we're going to place dimensions, DLI, going here to here, or here to here. If you want to show the representation of the center line, some draftsmen, they are only placing dimensions somewhere outside. Okay? Kasi kung ipiprint naman to siya sa, sa monochrome, madali lang din naman siya makikita. Okay, so DLI pa rin for the overall measurement. Okay, click here and here. So, we already have the dimensions on this side. So, layer na po natin siya kaagad. Okay, now, on front, same procedure, DLI, DCO. Okay, so no need na natin siya kailangan lagyan ng overall kasi meron na tayong overall, it would be redundancy. So, this time, dito naman, DLI, dito pong tarito, then DCO, dimension continue, hang para sa susunod ng mga areas, and then, write this. Okay. Like this, we are almost done with our work. All we have to do is to place the, what we call the cutting plane line for the section drawing sa mga susunod na drawing. It is a mandatory that you have to place a section line or cutting plane line. I'm sorry. Cutting plane line for our drawing para sa ating section drawing sa mga susunod na tutorial. So, mandatory talaga siya. So, cutting plane line is always placed one horizontal and one vertical. Horizontal represents as the cross-sectional view. And then, the section B, or yung pa vertical naman, is the longitudinal section. So, in placing the, sec the cutting plane line, depende na yan siya kung saan yung gusto. So, for example, dito, dito ko siya ilalagay, somewhere here. Okay? So, i-F8 ko na lang kagad para mas madali. So, which means... Upon the representation of your cutting plane line, ibig sabihin, dito siya tatama. Now, I'm going to place here line and then create the arrow. Okay, click lang, circle. Okay, then afterwards, I'm going to choose polygon. Okay, polygon. Sorry, polygon. And there are three sides. Enter, click. Then, just drag the mouse towards the position of the arrow. Now, there are times, pwede rin naman pababa ang position ng arrow. Depende na lang kung saan yung mas gusto. Okay? Then here, I'm going to do the same, pero ibang style ng arrowhead. Now, if you want to copy, okay lang din if you want. Okay? Pero, if you want to have an additional style para mas medyo aesthetic tignan, aesthetic value of the floor plan, Okay? Pwede din siya. Okay? So, trim all the unnecessary lines. Okay? And then, I'm going to layer this as what we call cutting plane line. Okay? So, already have here cutting plane line. And then, all we have to do... Now, there are times ang cutting plane line is only presented hanggang dito lang. There are also times nasa buo talaga siya. Okay? Now, if you'll ask me, sir... Coach, isa lang ba talaga, uh, dalawa lang ba talaga ang cutting plane na pwede gamit sa isang floor plan? Depende po sa kung ano ang inyong detail na gustong ipakita. Okay? So, always po, nakadepende yan siya. So, I'm going to hatch this one. Solid. Okay? So, I'm choosing solid. 
Then, enter lang. And then, I'm going to match the area. Okay? Hatch dito siya. And then, match the layer. Okay. Now, I'm going to place text here. Text. Okay? Some, they're using it like this. Move the drawing. Sa loob, meron naman. Minsan, nasa labas. So, pwede din siya. Okay? Depende kung ano ang mas prepare ninyo at ano, ano ang talagang mas maganda. Okay. So, here. This time, we already have the horizontal or what we call the cross-sectional section or cutting plane line. This time, we are going to have for the longitudinal here. Now, pag tinanong nyo sa akin, sir, mandatory ba talaga to dito? No. Depende po kung saan mas prepare ninyo. Okay? So, without much creating much drawing here, I'm just going to copy this, copy this layout, and then I'm going to rotate this figure, and then move the object dito. Now, pwede ipapunta naman sa kabila. Ibig sabihin, ang area na ipapakita nyo sa section would be this area. Pero sa ating drawing, we prepare it somewhere here. Okay? So, this line or this figure or object would be copied and then rotating it somewhere like this and then move the arrow somewhere below. Okay. Trim. And then match the drawing or object with our line. Okay. So, we are almost done. Pa finishing touches na lang. And that would be the name of the drawing. Okay? So, I'm going to copy na lang kasi meron naman akong nilakay dito. Or, ito. Okay. Copy ko na lang to siya. Copy. Okay? And then, I'm going to place it somewhere here. Now, the size of this text must be at 0.5. Always remember that. Because this is a title drawing. Okay? So, atong scale naman, it could range from 0.15 to 0.20. Okay? Now, that is the main function of this. Now, itong circle na to, if you are going to look at this, sir, display lang ba yan? No. This is not as display as you are going to look at this. There is what we call uh, the, the, what we call drawing number. So, for example, this is an architecture. It will be placed with an A and then the drawing number. So, para, para sa atin, since this is just basic, okay, iiwan na lang muna natin siya naka ganito. Okay? So, if we're going to check before we are going to plot this drawing, so coming from porch, papasok ang tao or ang occupants, automatic. He has two options. You could he could present uh, proceed right away with sa dining and sa kitchen, or he could proceed right away sa bedroom. Now, this is what we call the flow or circular or what we call the movement inside the structure. If you would not, if you will not believe me, even sa loob ng structure ng bahay, meron ding traffic. Okay? So, nasa flow of movement yan siya when you are going to study about floor plan. Okay? Pero hindi natin i-discuss yun. So, ito lang talaga ang process natin or i-discuss lang talaga natin ang flow on how to construct a simple floor plan. Okay? So, let's plot the drawing. Say, for example, we're going to plot. Enter. So, since nasa long band paper to siya, I'm going to look for um, isoful bleed A. Okay? And si full bleed A, 8.5 by 11 because nasa short band paper to siya. So, window, to plot this drawing, click here. Okay? And then, 2.54 or if you are going to change this into milli, when you change it into milli, it's 0.1. Okay. So, monochrome and then preview. So, this is our output for our floor plan already. If you want to plot this right away, pwede na rin. So, Again, before you flat, you before you plot our work, or before you plot your work, you have to make sure first to check every part of your drawing so that when you commit mistake, you could automatically edit it right away. Okay, yan ang kagandahan ng AutoCAD. Pag nagkamali, pwede natin i-edit kaagad. Kahit na nasabit na sir, pwede ba i-edit namin kasi nagkamali kami? Pwede, pwede. Pero pag, pag, pag sa manual talaga, you can never change it again. And that is already the final output. Okay? So, yan ang kagandahan ng AutoCAD. That is the power of technology. Okay? So, you could also edit a uh, plot this in layout, A4 borderline, since I have already an A4 here. 
Okay? I'll check it in A4. So, sa A4 ko, pwede ko rin siyang i-plot. So, I'm going to type here M view. Okay? Click here and here. Okay? And then, I'm going to look for my floor plan. So, dito ata siya. So, double-click lang to access the drawing. And then, right away. Okay? So, for example, i-copy ko siya. So that it would be separated. Copy. Again, kapag na-access nyo na ang MV nyo sa loob by double-clicking it, even editing sa drawing is possible. Okay? So, for the scale here, sa previous drawing natin sa 8 board, that is 10 is to 1. Okay? And then, the same pa rin ang output natin ang makukuha. Okay? So, check natin if this is all. See? Wala tayong nakalagay na letter dito. So, we could still edit this one. Copy. The text. Copy. Buti na lang, napansin natin, di ba? That is when you are going to use AutoCAD. Okay. So, B, for the second longitudinal section. Move lang. Okay. And then, balik tayo sa 10 is 2, 1. Okay. And then, center the drawing. Click here sa labas. Okay. So, you could already place this or plot this right away. So, plot. So, A4 ang ginamit natin paper size dito. So, A4 right away. And then, window. You could choose on this inner border or outside border would be the same. So, preview. Okay. Since naka-layered siya. But if you do not want it to be layered, pwede din siya. Change it into monochrome. Apply to layout. Preview. Still the same. We have our output for our floor plan. Okay? So, that is one way on how to drop a simple and basic floor plan. So, this is Coach Gene of Drafting Lifestyle. And I am very, very happy to have this channel to address the needs of each learner that we have here. Okay? So, this channel is an avenue of learning. This channel does not compete with anybody. If you know something that I do not know, I am willing to learn. If you have techniques that might help my students, I am also very willing to listen because learning is our priority for our earners. Without much ado, this is Coach Gene of Drafting Lifestyle. Thank you and till our next tutorial of drawing sa ating channel. God bless you and mabuhay po tayong lahat.